seen a reality TV show with all the drama? Yeah. Well, it's fresh news and it's also super entertaining. So, how does reality TV make you feel? Hold on to that answer for just one second. I know TV is hard to compete with, but I'm here to prove that art can be just as entertaining as that favorite TV show you watch. When you walked into this room, did you think this was a normal man? Just a dude sitting on a chair? Well, look more closely. Do you see some flaws? Careful, I saw this isn't just a normal man. He looks almost deformed. But what if I told you this isn't a flaw? It's meant to be there. This piece is considered by many people expressionism. How, uh, like many other pieces of expression, the portrait of a young man was made by oil on canvas. How would you critique this piece of art? And well, most people thought that this was disgusting and weird. Well, and how do you get into museums today, you might ask? When World War I hit, everyone understood what the expressionists were trying to say. They were trying to make you feel something, since they were going through the same emotion as the artists. This great, uh, after World War I, everyone in Germany felt free to express their feelings through expressionism. This freedom lasted until 1933, when Hitler came and despised all expressionism and put an end to it all. Do you think this man is happy? No. no. I personally don't. Look at his jacket, it's all finger, right? And it looks like he has wrinkles on his face when he's only 20 years old. I don't know about you, but when I'm 20, I don't want wrinkles on my face. <laughs> what color stands out to you the most in this painting? The top. The green. And the green. Well, I agree with you guys. Because, do you know why we might see that green first? have one thing in common. While they're supposed to make you feel happy or sad, they want you to feel something. Just like those reality TV shows you always watch at home and may have dismissed for art presentations. 